The Walther PP series dates back to 1929, but in 1968, the PPK could no longer be imported because it didn't have enough points. Thus, we got the Walther PPK-S. The Walther PPK-S is a very fine, very handy, compact, pocket-sized, semi-automatic pistol that we owe entirely to an anti-gun uh, Congress that passed the Gun Control Act of 68. When this law was passed, uh, it banned import of guns that were not deemed suitable for sporting purposes. And it had a remarkable point sheet to be applied to firearms that were proposed to be imported. On handguns, if you could add up to a total of 75 points, it was importable. Uh, if not, it could not be imported. Now these included things like the overall length of the gun, uh, the safeties, the sights, and uh, when you looked at the very fine Walther PPK, it came up with 74 points. Because there was a, a, a minimum height requirement, which the PPK fell short of by about a quarter inch, uh, someone, uh, I believe it was Russ Murray at, at, at Interarms, uh, came up with the idea of matching up a Walther PP frame, which uh, did meet the uh, minimum measurement, with the short slide of the PPK, and thus was born the PPK-S. Uh, this was done in 1968, the year the act was passed, and the first guns began showing up in 19. 69. You get the generous hand-fitting frame height and you, you still have a fairly short top end so that the gun is uh, on a belt holster or in an inside the waistband holster is, uh, is fairly concealable. And the thing is you get, to, you get what really is the, I think the salient point of those guns which is their, their extreme pointability. They, they point nicer than just about any handgun I can think of off the top of my head. PPKS just simply gave Walther an, uh, an, an entry into the U.S. market to continue the legend that had already been built up around the PPK. Now, these guns were made by uh, Manurin in France. Uh, they were made in Germany and also they were domestically manufactured. They, they, they actually made the guns right and do make the guns right here in the United States. Uh, the Walther PPK is one of the world's most iconic pistols. It is a gun that even if you don't know anything about guns, uh, odds are you can say, oh, well, that's the James Bond gun. The original James Bond gun was a 32, uh, just straight PPK, not the PPKS. But since 1968, the PPKS has been what the Walther handgun brand has been to the majority of the American uh, shooting public. Like its service size wartime counterpart, uh, the P38, uh, Walther really built its reputation on the lockwork system, which essentially was the, the first commercially successful lockwork system that is what today we call DASA or double action single action so the first shot after uh, charging loading around into the gun was a, a long arced double action pull of double action revolver like weight and then the subsequent shots were single action pull and of course it PPK S and PPKs uh, included a manual safety and even had a uh, loaded chamber indicator. Uh, despite its diminutive sights, the Walther pointed so well, and in addition to that, had a fixed barrel uh, fixed to the frame so that accuracy was outstanding. This was one of the first uh, widely popular double action uh, semi-automatic pistol designs. It had a decocker, a very modern design for the time that it was introduced. And it has been uh, an inspiration for other successful uh, pocket pistols since then. Uh, the Mauser HSC, uh, Star Astras, uh, the Soviet Makarov, 
all can trace uh, uh, some of their design points to the uh, Walther PP and PPK series of pistols. The PPKS is one of those guns that is a classic. It will just, it, it will never go out of style. It's iconic. It's a gun that, uh, frankly, uh, its press is probably better than the gun itself. It's a gun that day has passed. Uh, in terms of technology, in terms of how it's made. It's an expensive gun to make today, but it's a gun that people still want.